Howdy, howdy. My name is John, and this video is a review and discussion of the book Just Right by Piers Anthony. This is the 43rd book in the Zamp series. I was really excited to get this copy. It's the first time I've been able to buy a new Zamp novel in a long time. The last time I bought a new Zamp novel was the 16th in the series, and it was released in paperback in 1994. After I purchased and read that novel, I did borrow a couple from the library, but shortly after that, I put the series aside, and really, uh, it wasn't until about four years ago that I decided to start, start rereading the series and then pick up the ones that I had not read. There's a lot about this book that I really liked. I really like the main character, Jess. I like how this novel kind of pokes fun at itself because it actually refers to Jess as the protagonist of the novel. I like Magnus, Jess's love interest. I found him to be a strong male character, which unfortunately I haven't seen too, too many of in the latest Zamp novels. This novel also brings back characters from previous novels, and I enjoyed getting reacquainted with them. Overall, it's a fun adventure novel. Another thing I liked about this novel is the pacing of the puns. Some of the later novels in the series can have pages and pages of puns all together. However, in this novel, they're spaced out enough to where they don't overwhelm you. With all of the things that I liked about this novel, I was fully prepared to give it four stars. And then I read the ending of the novel. Because of the ending, I can only give this novel three stars. I'm actually going to talk about the ending a little bit, so this is your spoiler warning. Ragnarok is one of the most interesting antagonists of the Zanth series. He has a powerful talent and an appetite for power to match. Eventually, Jess, Magnus, and the companions have to face him down. They use a bit of a trick to nullify his main power, and then Ragnar just sort of gives up. Really, at, at this point, Ragnar still has a good bit of leverage left. He could refuse to undo the damage that he's done, but yet he just merely gives up. And I really found this ending to be unsatisfying. I really wish Anthony would have taken a little bit more time to flesh out the ending a little bit better. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.